Good afternoon, people. Welcome to Butterfly's Wisdom. This is Kimberly Neely at your service. I want to tell you something that is making me so happy. I married my best friend. Yes, I did. I married a previous husband of mine. We've been divorced. We walked away from our home in 2014. Yep. We went our own way, own way. He went that way, I went this way. I ran. I actually get my car back to the East Coast, got on a plane right after we got our divorce. I couldn't handle it. I was devastated. But anyway, God got with the both of us as we were, were divorced. Let me tell you a little bit about our story. I married my best friend who became my ex-husband. When we first got married, we got married August 1st of 2009. We had our ups and downs, good and bad, but we were very close and we were madly in love with each other. Still, we got a divorce. We dated several people through our years being apart. At first, I told David I never talked to him again. I didn't want nothing to do with him. Just leave me alone. He knew a week afterwards he made a terrible mistake and he wanted me back. And it was too late. I told him I hate your guts, this, that, and the other. I cried. I blamed God. But why I cried and blamed God, I also asked God, please help me to see this man through your eyes and your heart, Lord Jesus. Because I hate him and I want him to suffer. What God did though, he revealed to me my brokenness and where I went wrong in the marriage. Yes, where I went wrong in the marriage. But he cradled me, he rocked me, he nursed me back to health. And I started to communicate back and forward with David. When I moved back to Vegas, David and I hung out. We would watch movies together, we would go out eating together, and we would talk about the people that we were dating, not in a bad way, but we'd say, yeah, I'm dating such and such. He would say he's dating such and such. But it never worked out. And I thought I was gonna marry this other wonderful man and I told this guy, God, putting you and I together. Lo and behold, he was not the one. And I got upset with God and said, now what? What am I doing wrong? That wasn't bad at all. So me and David know two people that don't know each other, and they have the same confirmation, almost identical to one another, that God was putting David and I back together, yes. But me and David also felt the same thing that those two were feeling. So we talked about it. I was single, he was single. We both loved the Lord. We both admitted our wrongs from the previous time we was married to each other. So we agreed. So we went to the mall, we got some beautiful rings for each other. Mine was very expensive and I love my ring. I took it off when I got home from work because I took a shower. Hard water stains, I do not want on this ring wedding set. So we put our jewelry on my way for each other. We got it out within a month. We were going to wait for a year to get married in case his sister and different people from Baltimore and Miami wanted to come. We would save money to have a really, really nice wedding. I said, honey, that's not necessarily necessary. We know each other. We married each other. I wore a white wedding dress before. You had the tux. We had, you know, the party after you get married. And we had a honeymoon. We don't need that. But I want to tell you something, guys. David and I did not have sexual relations before our marriage. We were faithful to Christ Jesus this time around. God really got a hold of us when we were apart from each other. So we wanted to be obedient to Christ. We both know how our love making is with one another. We never forgot that. But here we are today, two days later, later married, only because of the grace of God. God gets 
all the glory. Not David and Kimberly Neely. No. I am sharing this story with you all. I am making this video for you all. Hoping through Christ Jesus that this video blesses several people. If not, just one person, Lord Jesus, touch someone. Let them know that they're not going through this alone, that we went through it. And you had to get a hold of David and I by separating us so you can heal us individually because we are individual people. So never stop praying, always believe, have even have mustard seed faith and pray for what you want. And if it's in God's will, in his timing, he will answer your prayer. Rest assured on that. I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. I wanted to do a video with my husband, but he had just woke up. He works graveyard. I work early, early morning. I get up around 2, 30, 3, 30 in the morning. So he just woke up, he's in the kitchen. I'm not gonna make a really long video, but I want you to know, God does love you. He knows when you're hurting. He knows when you're devastated. He knows when you cry. He knows your heart's desire. Please believe in him. He will straighten it all out. I know with myself, once I was fed up with being fed up, and I said, take the wheel, Lord Jesus, take this marriage, take this husband, take me, I'm done. I can't do this no more. That's when he got a hold of both of us. That's when I started seeing a change in David when we was divorced. We wasn't even married no more. So if he could do that for him and I, I know he can, and he will do that for you. But you have to do your part, too. This is a very transparent video. I'm not pulling no punches with you guys. I'm not blowing things up, exaggerating. This is a real live story here. God took two broken people that once upon a time was married for seven years that got a divorce, but he took two people and he worked on them separately to heal them, to make them 100%, to be able to go back in the union with the right mindset. He had to show David where he went wrong. He definitely had to show me where I went wrong. I'm, I'm a better wife, better equipped for this, this journey. Now, I was a hot mess, not only David, we would, point fingers, blame each other, but God showed us both. Point the finger back at yourself. Look in the mirror. It takes two to tangle. It takes two to mingle, and it takes two to get a divorce. So why not take two to stay married, but invite God in? Don't get weak, though. We were Christians. I got weak, I backslid. Then he started backsliding. That's where I went wrong as a wife. I should have stayed on them knees. I was in church, I was in Wednesday night Bible study, and I was praying all the time. I should have continued to stay on my knees and fight for my marriage, but I didn't. That's where I went wrong. And I can admit it, because I'm being open, I'm being transparent, and I am trying to help someone right now, today. June 19, 2021, Las Vegas, Nevada time, 5, 18 p.m. I love you, but most of all, God loves you. Until next time, please think about what I'm saying. God can do a new in you if you allow him to. He's not going to force his ways on you. He's not going to force you to submit. Release the wheel like I did. One more thing. I remember David said when we were still married years ago. Kimmy, do you think if you stop being an enabler, I might change? That stuck with me all these years. 
because I had a lot to do with how he was treating me. I allowed him to treat me the way he treated me. I allowed him to go out there and see other people. So think about what I'm saying. It's not always on the husband or vice versa. It's on the both of us. I love you. I got to go. I want to relax. Relax. Talk to my husband. Haven't seen him since last night. You all have a wonderful evening. I love you. Once again, God loves you more than I do. Bye. Till next time.